Hi guys, it's Amy from Little Farm Quilts. Today is Saturday, August 27th of 2022. I'm here for my weekly whip and plan update. Um, this is a floss tube channel about mostly cross stitch today. I have a little bit of quilty haul, but nothing otherwise to show. Um, if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I hope you find something you like. If you're returning, thanks for subscribing. I have had an uptick of subscribers as of late. Um, so thank you very much if you're newly subscribed to my channel. I do really appreciate the support. If you're not subscribed and you're watching, if you consider subscribing, that would be great. Uh, or like the video um, if you'd like, if you like what you see. Um, once I hit the next subscriber mark, um, once I get 500 subscribers, I'm going to have a significant giveaway. So if that entices anybody, um, I think I'm almost there. I think I'm at 451. Yeah. So if you want to do, if you don't, that's okay too. So, um, let's get on with the updates, huh? So a little bit of life update first, because I don't have a ton to show you today. Uh, I had an incident this week where I, I um, had my hand jammed between a couple of desks and it was my right hand, unfortunately, and I am right handed. So I lost probably two mornings and at least two more hours of stitchy time. And I'm stitching now, but I can only stitch in um, for like an hour and then my hand really starts to ache. It's not broken, it's just bruised and you can see the bruise. So when you see it on the video, maybe um, my right hand is puffy. It's all bruised here and on the other side, you can see right here. Um, so as you can imagine, it's just been hard to hold a needle tight um, to stitch, um, which is kind of disappointing, right? Anyway, um, yeah. So I lost some stitching time. I don't have as much to show as I would like to. I still have the rest of today to finish out, you know, kind of the plans on my full coverage today. But by no means, we you probably won't even be able to notice the any cover any progress that I made in my full coverage. So there you go. So let's start first things first. So I am part of the 25 seven group on Facebook. So I picked a project for those of you that have been around know what project this is. I picked my oldest whip. It's a gold collection dimensions kit. It's called lost no more. It is being stitched on the kit fabric and the kit floss. I'm going to try to stay back in the frame. I tend to scooch forward where I'm standing. Um, this is my daily 25 seven. So before anything else gets stitched on, this gets a minimum of 25 minutes worth of work in hoping to see progress to completion since this is my oldest whip. For those of you that are new around here, this whip I started back in the 90s. I put it in a box. I've recently pulled it back out and I'm working on it. So you can see this is where it stands right now. I'm going to fold it and pull it close. So right here, I bet you can see the hoop mark. So I had the hoop here and I've been working in the hoop. So I worked a little more here, worked more in his robe. And this morning I was working right in here. But two mornings I didn't stitch on him at all. Gosh, I really like how he looks in the camera. Can't wait to get him done up on my wall. Yeah. I'm enjoying the 25 seven. It's keeping me motivated. Of course, last year I was doing daily 30 with him and did it for so long and then wasn't doing it anymore, but I'm going to try, I'm really going to try to stick with it this time. I am, I think the bottom corner of this is right here. So I'm going to try to, I'm continue to work this down to get to the corner and then start to fill in over and then work over to the other side and fill up. Basically because in here, let's get this so I can hold it. Sorry, I'm having trouble holding these things today. In here somewhere, there's a mistake. So my thought is if I work around into that mistake area, then I can get there and fudge it up and make it look good. But I think that really looks good. Hmm. 
I always like the way that looks in camera. Um, my other whip that I was working on this week, if you watched last week, is Owl Force Embroidery Southern Land. My goal is to get this done this year, but I am going to pull it out of my rotation for September, and I'll tell you why later. But this is it when it finishes, and I actually pulled it off the frame because it's, it's coming off for September um, so that you can see it. Let me get this folded. It's being stitched on 36 count porcelain linen. Um, not porcelain, that was this one. Just white linen, 36 count with the called for DMC. And this is where I am. I think I'm about at 50%, according to Pattern Keeper. I finished, I finished this motif and stitched this whole motif while I was on a Zoom call on Wednesday. So, no, not that one, sorry, this one. So it's finished this motif, and then I stitched this while I was on a Zoom call Wednesday night. That is coming out of my rotation for September, hopefully to come back in, but you know, I make plans and I change. So this is where I am right now. So this dragonfly has more red underneath. But yeah, I'm hoping if you look. So once I get that done, there's two large floral motifs here, which is what I'll be working on next. And then I'll fill in these center ones, and then I'll just go straight across the bottom. It is a fairly easy stitch, um, relaxing stitch. There's only four colors. The linen's nice to work with. So in one evening, I can easily get like about 500 stitches in if I sit down and put my mind to it. Um, so it will come back out. I just have some things. And, you know, we're heading into fall. And there are some things that I would really like to work on in the fall. I am a seasonal stitcher to some degree, so that's that. Um, this is what I work on on Sundays. This is uh, Cottage Garden Samplings, A Year in the Woods. This is the raccoon. This is number four. We're affectionately calling him Ricky. Um, I don't see anywhere on here where it calls him Ricky, but we, we're calling him Ricky. This is a sale. It's a hashtag Woods Sunday sale that I'm hosting with Gail from Gail's Golden Needle. I'm stitching this on 36 count spring, which was dyed by Picture This Plus for the spring animals in this series. I started him and have gotten one Sunday since. And you forgive the threads because I have to frog some. So I'll show you that in a minute. But this is, oh, let's put something behind him. Hey, I have a board here. Hold on. It's because I'm in a different place. Okay. This is R Ricky. So the face is good. I've had, I had to frog in there a little bit. I took him camping with me last weekend and forgot to take the DMCs with me. So I was working with the overdive. But look at his face. Uh, then I started on this white here, which I'm using chalk by Gentle Arts and figured out this stitching that I put in right here is wrong. So I'm frogging that out. I also, I think last time I showed these four stitch pieces were white. They are now blue, the way the pattern asked for them to be. Um, but yeah, I'll bring him back out tomorrow and work on him more tomorrow. Um, he may not get the whole day tomorrow just because I've lost time on some other things and hopefully my hand will be feeling even better tomorrow. Um, but he's gonna get some work tomorrow. I know Hannah from Hannah Dowling is working on all the other stuff before starting the raccoon, um, which is kind of an interesting thought too. Uh, I may have to do that for the next one. I think the next one is the ferret. Yes, the ferret goes in the same fabric. Um, so we'll see. The only other thing I worked on... Yep. Oh, and I didn't bring the picture. I'm sorry. 
um, is a stitching shelf. It is the artwork by Amy Stewart. Sorry if you just heard all that drop. It is charred by Heaven Earth Designs. I started this with Caesar Carolyn from Caesar Stitch, Kim from Stitch and Stuff, and Tina from Tina Stitches. And you won't be able to see how much I got on this because I think I only put in about 67 stitches and it was mainly right in here, this area right here. Um, I'm trying to work all these threads in down to down in here so I can have a chunk of it done. And my goal was to have all of them worked in and parked down here before I switched to another full coverage. I'm going to give it whatever time, stitchy time I have today. Um, if I have some extra stitching time tomorrow and then Monday, next week, I will switch into a different full coverage, which I will show you here in just a few seconds. But there's that. It's coming along. It's on 28 count, easy guide, um, two over one tent. And I think the coverage is great. I don't have any problem with the coverage. So excuse me while I bend up and bend over and pick up these things that I dropped. So that's all I have to show you whips. Let's talk about plans and then I can do some haul. Um, my plans this week are to give the raccoon tomorrow. Most of tomorrow, maybe some of it to stitching shelf. And then on Monday, I am switch, sorry, zipper. I am pulling this out of my whip pile. This is Emily's house. This is by Lindy Stitches. I am stitching this on 36 count run by Picture This Plus with some of the called for and some of the stash dive. And I, <laughs> this project actually came into my mind this week. That's why I'm pulling it back out. So excuse all the threads. If you're around here long enough, you know that I park threads because I'm a notorious miscounter. So let's see if I can get something to put behind this. So the modern folk, or sorry, Southern Lands, no, from Owl Forest Embroidery is coming out of the rotation for this week, and this is coming in. And this is how far I am right now. So my goal this week, I think, is to get the house done. This one, I can usually, usually, now with my hand the way it is now, I can usually stitch this one in hand pretty easily. So that's my plan. So that's coming out. And so I'm feeling fall stitching. So that's coming out. My full coverage for this week, sorry, as I turn, is gonna switch focus. This is not a great printout. This is called Mini Tree of Life. The artwork is by Jen Leaf Celtic Designs. I am stitching this on 28 count gray Lugana. And I believe I'm doing one over one full cross, I am. This is where it is, oh, need something behind it. This is where it is right now. I'm gonna convert this to Royal Rose. You know, my goal would be is to get one set of Royal Rose done all the way across. I think the other corner is over here somewhere. Um, this is a mini, but we'll see. We'll see. See how far I can get, but I would like to transition it to Royal Rose and keep it one over one full cross because there's a lot of it done. One over one full cross for me to convert it to tent. So that's the full coverage for the week. And that's my plan. So I will still be doing Lost No More for my 25 seven piece. I will be doing, probably giving some of tomorrow to Stitching Shelf and then that's going away. And then Monday I'll switch over to Emily's house for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I will switch over to my Hey Tree of Life Mini, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That rotation seems to be working well for me. So as long as it's working, 
I'm going to keep working it and trying to get some whips done. Um, but I like spending two or three days on a project and seeing some progress. So I'm just going to stick with that and see. Haul. I got my Just Cross Stitch magazine in the mail. I believe this is the last issue that I'm getting. Um, I have not renewed just because I have, I don't know, three years worth of these. And I think I've stitched one project out of them. So it's not that I don't have good stuff in there. I just wish I had more time, right? Then I received my fabric of the month. Sorry, I'm leaning over to get things from Grace Note Stitchers. It is called Butterfly Tea, and I get a fat quarter and 36 count linen. And it's hard to describe this color for me. And I don't know how well it's gonna show. Um, that shows okay. Let's keep it folded over one more so less light comes through. That shows okay, actually. It's like a purpley, bluey, some gray. Yeah. I'd be interested because I have a couple ideas of patterns that I have. I'm going to have to see how that works with the floss toss. The other thing that happened this week is, you know, how a Needlework Expo is going on and there's lots of things being released. Well, here we go. I've been trying, to, I have been so busy at work this week. This is, a, I start teaching again on Monday. This last week has been monumentally busy and <laughs> I have not had time to look at Needlework Expo and the releases. I've seen a few. I've seen a couple of Kathy Barracks that I would like, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm not in an urgent, I've seen nothing that I urgently have to have this right now. Not that there's, I just haven't seen a lot of what's out there. But I did watch Lindy Stitches, <laughs> Lindy Stitches YouTube video uh, and she came out with some pretty cool things and I had to get on the bandwagon for that. This is why I don't watch this stuff because I, I go into a purchasing frenzy. I purchased a pattern. Let's see if I can get my thing here. And sorry, guys, I'm going to have to bend over and pick something up again. This just goes to show I used to do my floss tube sitting down. So let's see if I can get this up for you. Her patterns just, the quirkiness of some of them, I just love them. Um, I wish I was stitching more of them. Which I think is why I'm feeling um, Emily's house. Okay, so it's called Bury Me With My Needle, and I'm hoping this is not going to turn, but here you go. Um, it's kind of quirky. Oop. I might have to keep it like that so it doesn't. It goes up and down if you get my drift. And it's basically her in her coffin. And it says, bury me with my needle and some linen in my hand, for I would not be idle when I re reach the promised land. And I just thought it was super cute. So I got that pattern. I also bought 16 count Jack's Rum Ada by Fabrics by Stephanie. I bought the floss pack for that pattern. So it's with dinky dyes. And I bought all the dinky dyes, just because I think the pattern is cute. Who knows, maybe two years before I get to stitch this. I got a couple of stickers, but I think when they fell, they must have gone under my cart. I also bought, she's got a book. A book must be, booklet must be the thing this year. She's got a book. It's called A Spooky Book, and it has six patterns in here one of the patterns i already have so i'll show you let's do a flip through this is goth chicken and i just like this vulture here i think the vulture sitting on the skull holding a rose and maybe with a candelabra without all the letters might be nice 
not against the letters. This one is called Blackbird Pie. And I just think it's cute. Super fast shipping. This is called Broomstick Brigade. This is the one I already have. This is Raven's Needle Book. I bought this when it was a kit available in her store. It is in my whip pile. I have a dog sniffing outside the door. And Grave Fellows. And I just think they're super cute Halloween kind of things. And it came in this very nice book. She... I asked for some artwork. She said hi. I order from her quite a bit. I think she, um, I'm pretty sure she subscribed to my channel. I don't know that she's a regular watcher, but I remember um, we, we've talked, we've chatted a couple times over YouTube and uh, she had said in her video, if you wanted a little doodle on your book to just let her know and she would and I did and um, yeah. There's something about her that I just, Oh, there's one more in here. Where'd it go? It's another really cute one. I must have skipped right over it. I just saw it on the back cover. The Will Scare for Candy. This one. <laughs> but it's a very cute book. Very well done. Very, you know, it's nice thick pages. It's got the, it's just professionally printed. It's very nice. So that's what I got from there. And then, boy, this is gonna be super short video today, guys. That's okay. I got a couple of her stickers, which I have dropped somewhere, so I'll have to show them to you some other time. Uh, and then the other thing I received in the mail was something I pre-ordered back in January. Tula Pink is reworking some of her fabric lines, and I'm totally spacing on the name of this one, so you all can yell at me from the comments. But I ordered a yard bundle. And so there's this one with the ships. There is this one. And that to me looks a little bit like a hexi quilt, which I think is the design intent. This one. This one. I really like that one too. This was right up Gail's um, purple and teal. Gail, let me know if this is your favorite. Um, this one. So it's a very extremely light pink on that olive green. I just think it's cute. I'm not a pink girl, but there you go. I really like these. Of course, I'm, I'm, um, I'm a sucker for the bright colors. And here's a, so let's open this one up. <laughs> all right. I think that's all I have for you today, guys. I know I just sped through that because we got lots of plans today and tomorrow I would like to take the day before I start teaching to be relaxing. Um, we have a large picnic to do today, and I wanted to get in, so I apologize if I'm talking really fast, but I wanted to get another update out, and I will see you next week. Take care. Um, Heidi, your bag went out in the mail, so my last giveaway was one. She contacted me, and it's out in the mail. Sorry, I got delayed a few days, um, but it is out in the mail, and on its way to you. What else do I have? Nothing. I haven't worked on any of my travel projects. I have not had time. Um, yeah. So everybody have a great weekend, day, evening, whenever you're joining me, and I'll see you soon.